Hello, fellow humans. Uh, welcome to the Milk of Odd Kumla. I'm your host, Greg Batchelder. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. I've been busy moving, um, but thank goodness we finally got the family moved out of the city and we're up in the jungle, a little bit higher elevation. You might be able to hear the river in the background and the rooster might crow here soon. Um, so for our first video back, I wanted to talk about a relatively new article was published uh, 1st of March uh, of this year, so uh, uh, about 30 days ago now. Um, and it is entitled Neanderthals and Modern Humans Had Similar Auditory and Speech Capacities. Uh, this is written by Mercedes Conde Valverde et al. and published in Nature, Ecology, and Evolution Magazine. So we're going to talk about Neanderthal speech and whether or whether not they could understand and possibly communicate with modern humans. Thank you for joining us on the Milk of Ad Kumla. <laughs> So there's been a lot of research concerning Neanderthals in recent years. It seems like the interest in Neanderthals picked up steam again after the Neanderthal genome was mapped. And this research project is a little bit different because it focused on fossils, um, fossilized bone, um, uh, Neanderthal skulls, and also Homo sapiens and then earlier fossils from um, ancestors of the Neanderthals that were in that same area, Antipuerca, um, which we'll talk about. So they took a look and they compared the uh, ear structures of these ancient uh, humans. So the author's conclusions are based on this idea that um, there's this frequency range between 3.5 and 5 kilohertz um, that's related to consonant production in human language. And so they, what they did was they used high-resolution CT scans and created virtual 3D models of the ear structures in the Neanderthals, modern Homo sapiens, and also a sample from earlier fossils at the Antipuerca site um, that were ancestors to the Neanderthals that, that um, were in the other sample group. So what they found was that the Neanderthals, compared to the Antipurka earlier fossils, showed a better hearing capacity between 4 and 5 kilohertz, which more closely resembles modern humans. So it looks like they were able to hear and then most likely produce these consonant sounds which suggest advanced language. You know, and in addition to the consonant production, um, they also measure what's known as the bandwidth. And so if a species has a wider bandwidth, it allows for a larger number of distinguishable acoustic signals. Um, in oral communication. So that improves the efficiency of communication. And so the Neanderthals also showed this wide bandwidth. And so um, the author of the study, um, Mercedes Conde Valverde, quotes, the presence of similar hearing abilities, particularly the bandwidth, demonstrates that the Neanderthals possessed a communication system that was as complex and efficient as modern human speech. Now, this goes right along with um, what was happening with their tool production, possible symbolic behavior in burials and self-adornment, and maybe even some cave art at this time, that the Neanderthal species was progressing and evolving and becoming more complex and exhibiting more complex behaviors and speech would have been a part of that. 
Now, we don't know if they were able to understand each other. It just means that they had the capabilities of speaking uh, similarly um, complex um, speech. You know, and really to me, that's what makes this thing so interesting. What happened when humans and Neanderthals met? And to extend off of that, what happened when modern humans met with other species, also the Denisovans? Was there mixing between what we consider other species like Homo erectus, Heidelbergensis, um, that were all on the planet at the same time? What went on when these people met each other? Were there two groups that met in North America? And how different were they? How different was their speech? Um, and we're seeming to find out that they could all speak. Uh, most of them had um, some sort of symbology going on. It seems like clothes were already being worn back in Homo erectus time and controlled use of fire and things like that. So it's really interesting to think about and what it says about the different species and human in particular and how we meet and what could have happened it's uh, really interesting to to ponder and it all these little things that we keep finding out add to the puzzle um seems like neanderthals could have complex speech could we understand each other um it seems like even when in modern times, if you meet somebody that doesn't speak the same language of you as you, you can communicate because you can use symbolism, hand signals, and there seems to be an understanding that goes on. Maybe this is what happened. And then maybe certain Neanderthals learned human language and certain humans learned Neanderthal language. What an interesting idea. Um, if they were interbreeding, it only seems to make sense that they could communicate on some level. I find this very interesting. So we'll end it here. Um, quick little video. I'll make it short and sweet. Um, hey, this is how I'm supporting myself and my family now. If you can support the Milk of Ad Humla on Patreon, please do so. Links in the description below. Please hit like. Please share. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for joining me. And as always, fellow humans, stay gold.